Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we are going to be discussing whether war elephants were really worth all that time, money, and effort. Let's get into the video. Okay, it's important that we talk about the capture and training of the elephants. Special trained elephant captures called mahouts would capture the elephants using hooks and lead them into an enclosure. The same hooks were used for leading the elephants in battle. An elephant's training consisted of getting them used to being led by a human rider and training them to raise their leg so that a rider can easily get on and being able to run and maneuver around obstacles and the final step was teaching them how to trample and charge an enemy. Now you might be wondering why didn't they just breed the elephants in captivity? rather than risking life and limb to go out and capture them in the wild. Well, there are four main reasons for this. The first is that it is very hard to get animals in the mood when they are in captivity rather than out in their natural environment. The second is that elephants are very expensive to feed, especially if you have to do it from the time when they are born all the way to when they are 25 to 40 when they are considered ready for war. And the third is that only males could be used in war because females will run from males on the battlefield. And the fourth is that elephant pregnancy is very long, 18 to 22 months. So rather than feeding the elephants, housing them and making sure they can get it done, you would rather just send mahouts out into the wilderness to capture them when they are at the ripe age to be used in war. As I mentioned earlier, feeding an elephant is no easy task. Elephants normally spend 8 to 12 hours feeding, and they can eat up to 200 to 600 pounds of food a day, plus 50 gallons of water. The next thing I'd like to talk about is logistics. Elephants are very hard to move. Although elephants are slightly faster than humans, at a walking speed of 4.5 miles per hour to a human's 3.1 miles per hour, they spend most of their day eating. Elephants in the wild will spend 8 to 12 hours feeding, and therefore many armies would have to stop to feed their elephants. Also, African bush elephants can get up to 13,000 pounds, whereas their Indian and Asian counterparts can only get up to 6,000 to 7,000 pounds. Transporting elephants across any body of water was a very hard task. First, you would have to find a vessel large enough to transport the elephant. Next, you would have to procure enough food so that the sailors and the elephant wouldn't starve during the voyage. Next, you would have to situate the elephant in a place where he wouldn't capsize the raft or boat sending all the sailors and the elephant to a watery grave. Finally, as you make the crossing, you'd have to pray that your enemy wouldn't try to sink your ship and you would lose your valuable cargo. Now it's time to talk about some of the ways that elephants were used. Elephants were often situated on the center of the line to prevent charges or conduct a charge. They were used to scare the enemy and cause them to rout. Also, they were used as the ultimate shock force when charging, trampling and smashing through everything in their path. Finally, your elephant has reached the battlefield. You've captured it, trained it, moved it to the battlefield across seven different rivers, and kept it fed all the way here. Now it's time to see what this puppy can do. What's that? The elephant is turning and killing all your own troops. Well, this was a big problem. If elephants got scared of fire arrows shot by the enemy, or of enemy elephants, they could turn and slaughter your own men, crushing them. This is why elephant trainers who would ride them into battle would have special poison knives to kill the elephants if they started to kill their own men. 
This was a tremendous, expensive waste. All that time and effort training the elephant, feeding it, and transporting it to the battlefield, and it just becomes another bloody carcass. After considering the facts, I personally believe that war elephants were definitely not worth their massive cost. The cost of capturing elephants, training them, feeding them, and then transporting them was so big and it didn't even guarantee that the elephants would even make it to the battlefield, let alone kill any enemy troops. You could just be paying to slaughter and scare your own soldiers. I personally believe that the funds would be better spent on uh, extra food to increase the morale of your foot soldiers. So this has been uh, were ele War Elephants Really Worth It? Thanks for watching. If you'd like, please check out my other video on War Elephants. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.